I'm going to give some people some time to realize I am on live before we get started. Go ahead and do my invites. Good morning. Good morning. I am going to wait for a few seconds and get some other people to come in. I know a few people were waiting on me. So I apologize that on this earthly time, I am running a little behind schedule, but uh, Spirit says I'm right on time. So while we're waiting, I have one of my meditations going that I've kind of been utilizing for quite some time. Good morning. Hey, Britt, Brad. Um, so y'all already know what time it is. It is going to be tarot time. I'm going to lower the volume down on my meditation. Um, hopefully you guys will still be able to hear that playing in the background. <sighs> it has been a great morning. Needless to say, um, I woke up this morning. I, this is my third meditation for today. Let you know. Um, I have meditated over the cards. I have prayed over these cards. And even though, like I said, I'm running late compared to what my time schedule was that I wanted to be online doing my reading, but I'm a firm believer that spirit calls who it wants to be able to be on. Um, and calls me at the time the spirit is needed. So, um, without further ado, since I do got a couple of y'all watching, um, we can definitely go ahead and get started. I'm going to take another sip of my coffee. Because it was definitely much needed this morning. But, you guys, this is going to be just a general read um, for today. I am burning my sage. So, you guys know I started uh, my own collection of sage. And um, I am burning that this morning. I have burnt over the cards. And I'm going to start off with the nice shuffle. I keep getting the number three. So, we're going to go ahead and shuffle this up three times. And get started. How's everybody's morning going? Talk to me. Let me know what's going on. How are we feeling today on this wonderful, thank God it is Friday. Y'all's weekend, my new beginning. <laughs> Let's get this started. Mm. Today is Friday, April the 23rd. And for those of you who follow me on YouTube, my um, the 21st up until the 30th video has been posted up. So um, that one is a long one because we went over a lot in that read. Um, I'm going to shuffle this one more time. Oh, the sage smells so beautifully. All right, let's get this reading started. Oh, starting off with the Six of Cups, you guys. Some of y'all are thinking about moving, buying new houses. Um, but you're actually starting to give back and get it just as much as you've been giving and receiving. Um, we got the Three of Swords. Let's see. I'm going to go over each of these cards and everything as the picture paints itself. We also got the Page of Swords going on. Good morning, love. Good morning. We've got the devil card going on today. Is that Capricorn energy showing up in the read? I am doing wonderful this morning. I thank you for asking. We've got the page of cups. So we are learning to balance our emotions. I'm starting to get a nice little picture going here. We got that followed by the seven of wands. Somebody's been feeling like they're battling the world, but this is going to be real interesting because we got the Empress card following right after that. So whoever is trying to attack you, honey, those battles are not going to be won. Got strong communication coming in. We have got the Ace of Swords. Let's see. We got that followed by the King of Swords. So there's going to be a lot of communication. 
going on over the next couple of days. We got that followed by our knight, excuse me, our six of wands. So there, that's victory coming in. That's that victory lap. We got the seven of cups, options and opportunities, making sure we're picking the right choice and making the right decisions and not looking, letting everything that looks like it's glittering, you know, because everything that glitters ain't gold. We got the eight of wands. I'm doing a different type of spread this week, so it is going to be really interesting. Yeah, I know you're a Capricorn, too. I think that's pretty cool that we're both Capricorns. Um, we got the hanged one. Some of that feeling stuck and stagnant energy going on. But things are about to be really kind of looking up. You got the hermit card as well. And I'm going to pull one more card. We've got the page of one. So we're going on an internal journey as well. All right, let's talk about what I'm seeing. So, oh, and at the bottom of the deck, we got the four of swords. So we've been laying down, feeling sick, not feeling like ourselves. Um, but all of that energy is about to change. So that is bottom of the deck energy. We're going to put these right here for now. All right, so let's start off with your six of cups, you guys. So some of you have definitely been thinking about moving to new places, going on a new journey, embarking on purchasing a new house. Good morning. I'm Kaya. How are you doing this morning, love? Um, and, or excuse me, Kia. Um, and with this moving in a new direction, um, it's going to be blessings that are coming through because this move is going to be a, a, like a total change of life um, with this move. Um, you also are noticing, if you notice, like he's bringing... He, she, them, they. Cards are not gender specific. Um, and of course, this read may not resonate with everyone. This is a generalized read. So some stuff may resonate. Some stuff may not. Let what got y'all know my saying. So um, what resonates, let it resonate. The shit that don't let that shit fly. And um, with this change of environment um, and this change um, is going to be manifested. This is going to be something that's going to be given to you um, or kind of like where things are just starting to finally paint a full picture for you. Like you may have had an idea about moving and had thought about like, you know, I need to get out of this space that I'm in. I need to go into a different environment. Well, that is definitely coming up over the next couple of weeks for you as an actual real life option. Um, some of you have been house hunting and feeling like you're not finding the right house. You're going to see something and it's going to speak to you. Um, it's almost as like this house is going to just reach out and grab you. <laughs> Um, but it's going to definitely be a positive thing for you guys, um, move wise. Um, and with all of these changes coming, because you've been torn for so long, um, like your heart has been in one place, your mind has been in another, and you've shed a lot of tears over trying to make this decision. Um, a lot of times people look at the three of swords as if there's like, um, a three-way energy going on, or if there is, um, like lying, cheating, stealing type of energy. Um, today I'm not seeing that today. What I'm seeing is like, you've been torn in between like family and maybe your partner or someone that you're kind of dating and yourself as far as making this move or this change for yourself. But you're being guided by communication from up above. Um, your dreams are kind of starting to no longer be like daydreams. <laughs> you've, you've been seeing these, um, things kind of daily, um, where it's like, it's almost as if the universe is speaking to you. They are. This is pure communication coming from above high. Um, if you notice the blue skies, the clouds behind our page of swords here, um, which basically is at a point to where they're cutting away things that are no longer valued to them and to their life um, as well. Um, and that are not really... Um, beneficial to where you're trying to go. You know, they were, they may have been like really good people to be in your life, um, in the beginning of the situation and the circumstance, but the more that you're changing and you're progressing and you're thinking differently, um, to where you're starting to think towards what you're trying to attract and the things that you're trying to change and do. Um, some of you, this is work involved. Some of this is relationship. Um, I even feel that some of this is like internal healing that you've been like working on and haven't been sure um, if you're making progress. Well, you are definitely making progress. Um, the page is, is at a learning level. 
you know, this is someone that is starting to see things and to learn them to better themselves, to be your best version of you. Um, definitely got Capricorn energy coming in here with the devil card. Some of you have been feeling like you're bound and um, tied down to a situation or circumstance. And with that situation and circumstance, um, it's been feeling as if you don't have um, a way out or as if you no longer are um, being implemented and being seen by the things that are supposed to be working themselves out. It's like you're, you're being, you, it's like internally you feel as if you have no way to get out of this situation or that you have no way for it to become a different situation. So like your heart may be tied, but your mind isn't, but you've been feeling like you're in bondage. But in reality, you're actually coming out of this bondage. You're coming out of this, this um, held down, tied down experience. Um, and I know that because if you notice that there's nothing in this water here with this page of cups, the only thing that this in the cup is the fish. Um, and with this page of cups, you know, these are, these are, again, you're in a learning phase where you're learning to connect with yourself more. You're learning to understand yourself and your thoughts more than what you did before. Um, with this, it, the, you're learning to control your emotions and to watch out for when those emotions are strictly that just overwhelming emotions. Um, if you notice there's no guardrail on, on this bench in this, um, I would look at it as a dock, just in my personal opinion, um, being that it is so close to water, but there's no guardrail. There's nothing stopping her from falling into the water or for, from falling over, um, in her mindset. But during the learning phase, you're going to fall. You're going to trip over your own feet. You're even going to trip over your own thoughts. Um, during your learning phases. And it's not to say that anything isn't going to happen. It's just more to say, look at it as a positive experience. Take something from it. Um, with this cup, it's like she's focused and, and idealized and kind of put on a pedestal this fish that's in this cup. And fishes don't live out of water. They can't live out of water for very long. So she's killing it by keeping it there. So it's like almost like holding, continuing to hold on to that, that thing so tightly, you're suffocating it. You're not giving it what it needs to thrive and survive. Um, with the seven of wands, um, this is where I was telling you, it's like you've been battling and it's, these people are throwing these stones at you. And they're missing you. They're, 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 they're not actually hitting and they're not really attacks because you're on a higher level than what they are. You're on a different mindset than where these people that are beneath you. If you, you see, you can't even see the people that are like poking these sticks out at her that she's continuously battling. So it's like you're battling people that are beneath you and that are not even on any type of level, whether it's financially, emotionally, mentally, they're, they're, they're nothing for you to keep in your life. They're nothing for you to keep around you because they are simply trying to drain you and keep you distracted so that you do not make it to your goal. So do you not get, so you don't go where you're trying to go. Um, and I know this because you're showing up in your own reading as the Empress, you know, the Empress is one of the highest regarded, um, females in the deck. And being the empress, you know, you, you sit back and you bask and you know, cause you know that you're the shit and what, why else would anybody else be thinking that it's okay for them to kind of try to trick you or to try to distract you from where you're trying to go with the empress card. If you notice and look at this card, you know, she's got these jagged, icy, icy ridges behind her, but those icy ridges are surviving in this hot ass heat that they're in. Look at the sky. The sky is normally only that red when it's summertime and as the sun is going down. So that means that, you know, things are going to start ending, but it's going to be an end with a new beginning that is pushing you up on a higher pedestal for yourself. Yes, you've gone through a lot. Yes, the, the, these barricades are starting to melt down. A lot of the things that you had as blockage that you were holding up to protect yourself those guards are going to start coming down so that you can move forward 
into a more positive communication <clears throat> with the Ace of Swords. There's some there's going to be a conversation that you're going to have this week with either a person um, or a friend. This could be a boss, um, but there's going to be high communication coming in. This is going to be like divine communication where you're going to be like, well, damn, I was thinking about that. And how is it that this person knows that this is where I was at? Because this is going to be a divine connection. This is going to be communication that's coming down from spirit. That's going to be blessing you to go into this new journey on this embark that you're going to be, be um, walking on. You know, you're no longer in this, in this rockiness, this terrain. If you notice, look at these mountains. These mountains are up high in the clouds. This is the very tip of the, of, of the mountain. This is the very tip of the peak. So you are coming, this communication is going to be coming to you at a time when you felt like you were climbing, but then you were having that self doubt that was kicking in all that negativity that you sit down and think about all that stuff that you've been sitting on beating yourself over criticizing yourself. All of that is, this is coming to show you that that's not going to win that, that, that defeat that you keep eating yourself or feeling that this is attachment to you, that you're just a, not destined to do good things, lies, 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 lies. You guys are going to be fine. This, I think like, this reading is so cool. <laughs> like just looking at the cards and seeing like what's coming after the next thing. Like this is, this is going to be really awesome for you guys because you're going to have a connection that is going to put you where you're meeting this person and this person is going to bring out a lot of transformation in you. They're going to bring out a lot of change for you. This person and is going to help you see the transformation in yourself. And it's going to allow you to be able to start feeling positive about yourself and thinking these positive things so that you can manifest. Hey, Shantae, baby, good morning. Thank you. Um, it is going to put you in a position where that, that you are learning that your communication is going to open up doors for you. What you think about yourself is going to open up doors for you. These are going to be so many different changes because when you see yourself differently, you're going to be acting differently. You're going to be able to move differently and feel it like on the inside and know that this is a whole challenge and change for you. Even when you're looking at this, this, this King of Swords is sitting on top of that, of these mountain peaks that we were looking at. Like, do you see these mountain peaks and do you see where he is sitting? Like, let's talk about that. Let's talk about it. This this is going to be open and true communication to yourself. And that's whatever this conversation is that's going to be coming towards you, um, whether it's work again. I mean, I feel like a lot of this does have to do with, with you making work decisions, but being honest about how you really feel about doing this. Like, I really, really want to do this. I deserve to make this change. And accepting it and telling the other person, hey, you know, you're either going to get with my program or you're not. <laughs> And if you can't get with my program, then I, I, I got to do what I got to do because this, this conversation is going to lead you into your victory lap. This is going to bring you into your six of wands where you see this, this she's riding on this white horse that she's got tamed and she's got this wreath going through. And these people, instead of them walking and fighting against her, now there are people walking and fighting with her. You know, the, these ones, the, these these thoughts, these other people, when you're connecting yourself with like-minded people, you're going to start to see these victory laps yourself. You're going to start to see these decisions because those are going to start opening up doors for your seven of cups moment, which is your open of opportunity. But be cautious of all of these options because some of these options look like they're glittery and gold and, you know, it's real crystal and nice. You know, they're buying you nice shit. They taking you out doing all kinds of things that the last person wasn't doing, but be very cautious of your decisions. Because as you notice, one of these cups has a snake in it. One of these cups has somebody that's been, that's going to betray you. That's going to do wrong. You know, one of these cups also has some storms, has that twister moment where it's sucking up everything and taking it from you. So these cups are, are, are standing for different things and different plants or places even people that have been in your life that have placed themselves in their lives and you kind of almost couldn't get rid of them. And now it's a time for you to say, I've got to choose what's best for me. Fuck what these cups are offering you. Um, 
Oh, you're good, Shantae, baby. I, I posted the rest of the video on YouTube, so you can go look at, at the rest of that video on my YouTube as well. Um, but with these options and the sevens of cups and you having, this is the universe telling you that you have free will. You have the right to make the decision for yourself, but make sure that you're making the decision that best meets both your emotional needs, your mental needs, your spiritual needs, someone that people that are like-minded like you, that you're associating yourself with these people. Because once you do this, once you align yourself to this, progress is going to be coming at you very fast. Do you see this motorbike? This, this motorbike is like eating dust. He's spinning up dust at people and he's moving forward in a very fast direction. He's no longer sitting and waiting for the next, for the next situation to come to him. After he's made that choice, this is after making the decision that this eight of wands shows up, your thought process starts to move very fastly. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. Um, you're starting to go into a place of self manifestation and those manifestational thoughts that you're bringing in is going to push you along very fast. All the universe is waiting on you is for you to make the decision. For you to make the decision, have the open communication conversation so that you can take your victory lap and then start being rushed into, into this beautifulness. You know, it's, it's going to be all about you starting to push yourself forward into the direction and which is going to bring you a lot, a lot of happiness because you have been feeling like you were stuck feeling like you were stagnant with no way out, no other decision. You felt like if you if you just did not make a choice that everything would would just make itself work out. You felt like, "Hey, good morning, Sarah." You felt like if you did not have or put your say in it. Let's say that that if you did not put your say in it that let me sit back, cross my arms. I'm just going to wait for this shit to come to me. I'm just going to wait for whatever, whatever's meant to happen to happen. But God, God gives us free will so that we can make these choices so that we can make the decisions that are, are perfect for us and not what's perfect for what these people around us are saying, be it your friends, your fucking family, your spouse, your ex, your new girlfriend that's on the way, you know, whatever it is, you cannot allow other people to make your life decisions for you. For too long, we sit in our own mindset and battling our minds when we can just make a decision and watch how that shit plays out. So it's no longer about you sitting there and pondering these choices. At this point, you have to make a decision. You have to be able to choose what it is that's best for you. Um, you have right after the hangman card, you guys have got the hermit. This is very much Virgo energy. Um, with this hermit, as you see, she's, she's closing her computer. She's closing, um, and she's in the dark. You know, the only thing that's light in there is that, that little light that's coming in from that window, but look how bright and blue that sky is outside, outside of the window. But it's, it's having to go within self and work on self so that self is going to be happy with the decision that self made. I don't think I can explain it any clearer than that. Um, because right behind that is the page of wands. You're learning to control your thoughts. You know, you first thought you were, you know, in quicksand and that every action, every time you made an action, it felt like it was pulling you deeper and deeper down into a different level of disgust. But the more that you think positively like this, the more you're going to be feeling comfortable with the decisions that you've made. Let me get some more cards out. Give me just a second. Yes, because followed by that, followed by that, you guys got the sun card, um, which is true victory. Um, you got everything is fine, followed by the queen of wands. You guys have been having this queen of wands moment come behind, kind of behind a lot for quite some time now. Um, and then that's followed by the eight of cups. All right, so with you starting to learn what your thoughts mean and what your own internal um, visions of where you want to go and where you see yourself and learning to actually like hone in on those on those things on the things that you really want to happen 
your victory is going to be coming right behind that. Remember, I told you with that eight of wands, that was the beginning of your victory starting to open the door for you to actually start to see it yourself. With this sun card, this is telling you that there is going to be so many blessings behind you that, that the universe is pushing you towards this true victory. Like this is going to be what changes your life, your life direction. It's going to bless you in so many different ways. Like I, I can, I can see it clearly. Like I can vision this, you know, she's riding off on this horse and she's waving her flag. Like, bitch, I did it. I am good. I got all that negativity up off of me. I'm not dealing with these people no more. Like I got a new crowd. You know, you're going to find a, a soul tribe that fits exactly with who and where you're trying to be. And once you get connected with that crowd, shit's going to start happening like left and right. You're no longer going to be feeling like this anymore. You're not going to longer going to be carrying around all the pain and the hurt from childhood all the way up until now. Those exes that disowned you, those people that just took and used you because a lot of people, your heart is so pure that everybody was trying to take from you one way or another. They were either taken from you financially. They was taking away your energy you know, they're bogging you down with all their problems, wasn't listening to, to you when you had problems. Like, nah, these ain't the type of people you need in your life. They, they got to go. They got to go. And once you start to get them out of your life, you're going to have this sun moment. The sun, the sun always shines the brightest in the morning. It may feel like it's hotter towards noon. It may feel like it's, it's, it's you know, it's warmer once you get to the later of the evening. Mm -mm. It is. It shines the brightest in the morning. And the reason is, is because it is dark as fuck outside when it first comes out. Shit is dark and ugly. But when it comes out, it, it opens up all kinds. Your, your vision is crazy in the morning. Have you ever just like literally let I, I have this window in my room. I don't have a blind over it. I have a little bit of sheer. Um, what y'all call those, those dark curtains, the curtains that like black out the room or whatever. But every morning the, the rays, the rays of sun come right through it. And it's the prettiest thing in the world. First thing in the morning, those, and those are the type of things that you need to feel when you're seeing, when you're seeing all of this, because when you first begin your journey, that's when you're most invested. That is when you're most hype about it. Think about it. When you started your job. The very first week of your job, you were like, oh, shit, bitch, hell yeah, I got this job. I'm about to do this. I'm about to do that. I'm about to go get me another car. I'm about to fix all the shit that's broken, like all of that. And then the stress of the job starts to come to you, right? Then the agony of, of having to get up by a certain time and not be able to go do certain things because you've got to go to work. Those type of things are, are the things that start to pull on you. But you, if you keep your big picture, if you keep that big picture as your forefront, these, these, the agony of having to do what you need to do is not going to be an issue. My mother and my father always told me, if you're doing something that you love, it's not work. It's ambition. It's a goal. It's manifestation. So if we look at these things, if we change the way we look at this, right? If we change the way we look at this, it's no longer that I fell in down and I'm pinned down. It's, it, if you look at it from a different direction, it, it looks like she's barely being pricked by these swords. It looks like she's barely being touched by these swords. But that's because we, we've changed the perception. We've changed the way we look at it. But in order to do so, you have to first change your mind. You have to change your thoughts and say, you know what? Yeah, hell yeah, I got to get up at seven o'clock in the morning. But guess what? I'm going to have a way to pay my bills this month. Guess what? I'm going to be able to take that trip that I've been wanting to take. We've got to find the silver lining and the things that we look at as pain points. Because there are some people in this world, they wish that they had your job. They wish they had a way to eat the way you eat. Them crab legs and all that steak and shrimp. You know, them extra potatoes. Some people eating the same shit every day. Bread and butter. <laughs> you know? And, I, and, and, and I'm serious. Like, and I know because I, I joke a lot. I play a lot. 
But I am so serious. There are people that wish that they had what you have to be able to get to where you're trying to go. Yes, my job is stressful as hell. But guess what? Do you know how many people I get to bless every day that I talk to? Every day. That are going through shit that, that is worse than what I'm going through. See, and when I remember that there's somebody's battles that are bigger than mine, my battles don't seem like they weigh as much. Them swords don't feel like they as much. Because, yeah, I still got them. I still got them battles. I still got those things that I'm going through. They ain't went away. Because it's, it's a lesson. It's something I'm supposed to take from it. There is something that I'm supposed to take from that person stabbing me in my bag. It's something that I'm supposed to gain from that person that used me for all I had. I have to be able to say, you know what? Next time, I'm, gonna, I'm still going to give. I'm still going to love. I'm still going to do what I need to do. But... I'm not going to do it to the point to where it takes away from what I need. I'm not going to give myself to the point to where I don't have enough for me left. Because that's what happens. That's how we end up falling on those multiple swords back to back, back to back, because we're reaching out for something to love us as much as we love it. And some things and people ain't meant to stay for a lifetime. They not. Girl, you're taking, taking us to church this morning. Oh, thank you. I'm just, I'm serious. Cause I, I promise you, I meditated really hard this morning. Like I was late <laughs> and y'all know my biggest pet peeve is, to, is being late. I feel like if you're not early, you are not on time, but I've been up since seven o'clock this morning thinking and praying and meditating and just trying to get my mind where I need it to be so I can be here for you. But this read is speaking, it, it's speaking volumes. And I mean volumes. Y'all been getting this, this Queen of Wands for the longest. This, all of April. And if anybody who's been watching my reads since April, you, you like these damn cards. You know, they, they've been coming. But guess what? Now that you're starting to make those changes and those decisions, you got the king and the queen in the same place, baby. You and, you and your king... Your king, your queen, you may be the king. You understand? And now your queen is able to show their face, to show their true colors, to not be afraid of their flaws any longer. No longer is it is, is your flaw considered um, a flaw. Why is it a flaw? What, what, what designates the situation as a flaw? What designates that, you know, my left eye is nearsighted and my right side is, is farsighted. You know, what designates that as a flaw? Why is it that I can't look at that as, as having perfect imperfections? Why is it that I cannot see that these same flaws and these same downfalls that I had are the things that make me perfectly me? And this is what I want y'all to hear today. This is what I need. Uh, and this ain't even, this ain't coming from me. This is coming from universe. But apparently I needed to hear it too. So we're, we're going we're gonna to speak. We're going to read these cards out. We're going to talk. So if y'all got time today, let's handle this. Because we need this before we go into the next month. We need this before we go into the next week. We need this before you attack your next journey. Because your next goal, or these are going to be the things that you got to remind yourself constantly. Them swords, them swords ain't, ain't stabbing you. These, these swords ain't, ain't just to keep throwing you down like how they was. The next time a motherfucker throws a pebble at you, baby, pick that bitch up and, and use it to, to build a foundation. Use that to push you into your next goal. To accomplish the next thing that you got on your list. Because can't nobody make that happen but you. My job teaches us that, eight, that you developing to get to the next place the next position, the next part of what you want to be is 80% you and 20% them, which means they're only going to give me 20% of what I need to make it to the next place. And my development for me to be a better version of me so that I can do that, that 80% is on me. But it all falls on what I believe 
and what I see. If y'all knew my story, you wouldn't even understand how I get up in the morning. By no means necessary and think the way that I think, but I had to do something different. My job is to heal. And the hardest thing about healing is that sometimes you're broken too. But see, my brokenness, I had to start looking at it like the queen of wands. Look at this. This lady got vertigo and she's still sitting on the throne like she the baddest bitch walking. Still sitting on the throne. That cat is there to show you that you're not alone. Spirits, mystic spirits are there for you. You got ancestors that's waiting to see you become something different. Then what everything else has come in, everything, everything else dropped down on you so that you could crush. They were depending on you to, to let those things hold you down. They were depending on you not to stand up and fight. They were depending on you to keep being the same thing over and over to be what your parents was. To be as judgmental as their parents was. A person can't give you something they ain't never got. At all. And so when we start looking at these things differently of what the universe placed us in. This world of hatred and, and misunderstanding and judgment. See, those are all the things that, that, the, that these swords stand for. These swords stand for judgment. And belittlement. And over criticism. It stands for being crushed to the ground to where you have no will to grow. No longer will we allow that to happen. It's time that we do something different. We have children that are growing up in this world and don't feel loved and don't know what love is. We felt that way. We felt neglected and mistreated emotionally, mentally. Battled because we knew we were something different. Most of us knew we were something different from the beginning of time. But that's why those battles had to come. So that you can outshine that. So that you can show. Ain't none of this going to hold me back. Ain't none of this going to stop me. I can go. Einstein could barely write or read. But yet we are able to cut on. Our lights flip a fucking switch in our house because of a person that they thought, they thought had no value because he was different. I can keep going down the list of people that have paved the way to give us the right and the freedom to be who we are. Ain't no longer you covering yourself up for other for covering yourself up and for who you are and what you are to the next person. We're not doing that shit no more. Not in 2021. We not. We did not make it past COVID and still going through COVID. That ain't the first plague and it ain't gonna be the last. But this is gonna be the one that wake us up. We ain't come through this and wake up today for us to lay back down in sorrow. And grief. And yes, can't nobody tell you when to, when, when to heal. Can't nobody tell you when to let go. But what I can tell you is, is that when you do decide to look at that shit that attacks you differently. I was attacked and abused and mistreated and undervalued. But guess what? I thought my voice did not matter. Y'all showed me different. I thought my voice wasn't going to help nobody. But guess what? Every day I get up and I speak, whether it's one of you that watches or two of you or four of you, no matter how many people see this, I'm making a difference. And so are you. You're making a difference with what and how you do. And you would not be able to do that if it was not for those stones, if it was not for those swords that pinch you down. You wouldn't even know what that felt like because you wouldn't have no yearning to reach back and help nobody else. You wouldn't have not, not an inch of yearning to do so. But because you're starting to see yourself for who and what you are, your mate is coming. You're going to have somebody balance out your life, something so serious that it is, I'm you're going to think I'm lying. I'm going to get a flood of inbox. 
It's coming, but it ain't going to come until you start to see yourself for who you truly are. For the blessing that you were created to be. I promise you. I ain't any anybody who's been following me. I promise you. I don't see, I don't, these cards don't lie. They don't lie. I can only speak what I see. On the top of this card, if you look at this, do you see that lion? That's courage. That's strength. You have the strength to be who you are. The courage to be the difference. There are a lot of things out of my control. But you know what? I, I can control my thoughts. As much as they may raise, I have a thousand thoughts a minute. Because sometimes I'm hearing other people's thoughts and other people's. I have so much that comes into my brain. That I wake up in the middle of the night confused. <laughs> sometimes. Because I'm, is that me thinking? Or who is that? Who is this for? And when I see something like that, followed by this King of Wands, we got a lot of Taurus energy going on. Look at that chameleon, though. This is somebody that had to be everything to everybody, but wasn't able to be himself. This is somebody that couldn't stand up for what they believed in. But y'all, y'all, y'all both felt that same way alone. But together, y'all can achieve the world. Together, y'all can start walking off on, on, on the shit that's bullshit. Together, y'all can walk, walk off on them empty options. Together, you can start a journey towards higher. See, the moon, the moon stands for illusion. And you have the illusion that you cannot be better than what you are. You have the illusion that you wasn't capable of living a better a living the life that you see fuck better because people tell you what's good and bad. I can't tell you what's better for you. But what I can tell you is that once you start doing these things for yourself, you're going to see the difference that I speak about. You're going to end I promise you that illusion that you're incapable. That's done and over with all, all of those empty vessels that people keep. Look at this. All these empty vessels. And I just I just saw something just now. And I thought like my eyes was playing tricks on me. Look at look at if you look in between these cups and just pay attention to that image. Those are like they're like light bulbs. Look at it. Look at that. I have never noticed that. Not never. Do you see that? Please tell me somebody will see that with me. Please, because I promise you. Those are light bulbs. Those are your ideas are gonna start taking off. The things that you manifest and create are gonna start taking off. These are light bulbs. Do you see these? Please tell me you see these light bulbs. That is six light bulbs in between eight cups. Do you see that? And I, I promise you, I, I literally, it, it just, it just dawned on me. It, I thought I was seeing things just now because I don't have all my glasses. <laughs> so I thought I was seeing things, but no. Oh my God, baby. There is so much coming for you. So much good stuff. I want, I want to get some more clarity on this because I don't even know where my glasses is, y'all. Oh my Jesus. I have no idea where my glasses are. Um, hmm. All right. It's okay. We're going to do this without the glasses. We're going to call up on our archangels. My sage has went out, so I need to reburn. We are going to call up on our archangels. And I am so sorry, y'all, for preaching at y'all, but... I have to tell you what I see. I have to. It's my destiny to stand here before you. Yes, we got the King of Ariel starting off. And I'm going to show you these cards as I go over them. We've got new beginnings. What did I tell you? We got new beginnings. You got the seven of Raphael. 
You got the six of Raphael. Okay. I'm loving this layout so far. Oh my God. You've got the nine of Michael. Archangels and ancestors, please talk to me. We've got the five of Ariel. You guys, this is going to be a longer one. I'm not going to lie. But I, I, this definitely needs to, to be heard. Somebody needs to hear this. We got the three of Raphael. We got the solutions card. Archangels and ancestors, give me, give me four more cards for this, please. For this reading for our watchers, please. Oh. We got the Eight of Ariel, the Ten of Raphael. Y'all know how I feel about those tens. We got the Ace of Gabriel, and the last. Well, I said last card, but the Spirit had otherwise. You guys got the Wheel, which is the Ten card. You got Divine Guidance, which is the card of five. You got the Queen of Michael, which is really awesome, especially considering that we got that Ace of Gabriel. You also got the Knight um, of Gabriel. So I'm going to put this in placement here. I need to look at these for a second. This is some awesomeness. I think I need to pull one more card to make this spread even. Y'all know I don't like uneven numbers. The seven of Ariel. All right. Let's talk business. So it's definitely telling me with you guys getting this king of Ariel, it is, it's telling you that um, this person is very successful. They're very stable. They're very accomplished. Um, they're very powerful. It says your plans are working out very well, both professional and financial success is coming your way and using your resources wisely. We've talked about this a lot throughout the month of April, which, you know, utilizing the resources, the connections, the people that we have in our life that are on the same mi mindset and same path as us. Um, and it not, like I said, it may not be the same goals or the same dreams, but they're, they're, they're focused as well. They're not trying to be a distraction. They're focused on their own shit. Just like how you're focused on your shit and y'all may come together and collaborate on some things and it may spark those light bulbs that we just saw, you know? Um, but the King of Ariels is telling you, he, he, he's letting you know that you're not, you're not alone in this. This is the King of Ariel here. Look at all this, all the, all these, you know, fine stuff that he's got on him. He's got all those awards, the stash and, and, and back behind him is this beautiful angel you know, that's kind of basking out in the sun, sitting out back in the back, letting, you know, letting you know that the divine connection is, is, is putting these things and these people in your life. They're putting them in your atmosphere so that you can start to see these things differently. You guys also got the new beginnings card, which is the number 20. Um, and it's, this is talking about you starting a new life, um, and finding your, your true purpose your divine purpose. This is telling you that it's time for you to be able to forgive and have very much compassion when you sit back and think on the things that happened in the past. Those ten of sword moments. You have compassion for yourself and the people that did the things to you. Because, like I said, hurt people hurt people. People are broken. They don't make the best decisions. Um, you know, and when you sit back and you think on these things, you need to be thinking of, 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 you know, forgiving yourself and forgiving them have compassion for what they weren't capable of giving you for what they took for you from what they thought they took from you. You understand? Cause these new beginnings is beautiful. Look at that. It's like God himself is coming down and, and embarking on this new journey that these people are going through. Look at all of those mountains. They've got options on options, but they can choose whichever path they want. They've got free will. To be able to make the path that they want exactly what it what they want it to be. This new beginning is going to be something that's going to throw you out of this world. It's going to make you stand out. You got the seven of Raphael. 
Um, it's telling you that it is definitely time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action. This is a, a time for you to get rid of people that are toxic in your life and for you to be able to, de to detoxify yourself. So actions that you may have that are toxic towards yourself, that, that negative thoughts, that over criticism, the over analyzing of, 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 of actions, all of these things can be looked at and viewed as toxic. So now is the time for you to, to, to detoxify. It's time for you to get rid of all the people that are telling you you cannot achieve what you're trying to achieve. It's time for you to get rid of the, the, the things that stand in your way of you becoming who you're supposed to become. Because it's it literally is telling you that it says be clear on what you want. Voice that. Voice it to yourself. Write it down. Put it on your mirror. When you get up in the morning, the first thing that you should see is what it is you're trying to do with your life. Your six months goal, your four month goal, your five month goal plan. These are the things that you need to see every morning because when you feel weak and you feel like you don't have the energy, you got to remember you're not doing this for yourself. You're doing this for your seeds that are coming. You're doing this for the future. You're doing this for all, all of the times that you didn't understand why something happened to you. It happened to you so that you can be a blessing to someone else. It's time for you to be clear on what you want. Not what they want for you. Not for what they think you want. No. It's time to communicate. Open your mouth. Be honest. Open your mindset. You got the six of Raphael right behind it. Look at, we're going from a seven to a six. That means... You know, we're, we're, we're letting go of, of things that we don't need and, and coming into the things that we need. It's time to embrace your inner child. That baby needs a hug. That baby needs a hug from everything that it was going through, everything that, that, that it took that, that took from it without its will. Without its, without its will or permission. Give yourself permission to love all of that. Even the damage. Because gold does not turn into gold until it's been melted down and refined. It don't become the necklace or the bracelet or the earring or the ring on your finger. It don't come out of that until it's been broken, melted down and refined. So yes, you were broken. Yes, it hurt. And it's still hurting. I have things that still wake me up out of my sleep at 36. That happened to me when I was three. But when I look at those things and look at how many attempts, how many attempts the devil tried to stop me from being me, tried to stop me from getting here. If I would have allowed those things, you wouldn't be talking to me today. You wouldn't be talking to me today. So embrace that child. Embrace all, all the, the, the hurt, love on that baby. Now is going to be a time that you're making new friends. There are going to be new people coming into your life. I told, I've told y'all this. There's going to be new people coming into your life that are, that are working on healing, that are working on being a better version of them, just like you are. And those are going to be the people that are going to need to be in your life. You're going to have rekindled relationships, rekindled friendships, people that, that you thought... That, that, that at one point in time, they had to re be removed out of your life. They had to disappear so that you could get to this point. But you're going to have like old childhood friends, people, people that you had not thought about or talked to in decades are going to just magically be showing up because they're going to be the things that you need in your life right now. Things that, that was going on in your childhood are going to become forefront when it comes to you dealing and talking to your children. Because we're not, we're breaking these curses. We are not carrying on these curses, these generational curses and things that were pushed down upon us. We are no longer carrying those things. That's why you were here. That's why you went through those battles so that you can break that battle for the next seed that come along. We've got to be the change that we want to see in the world. All that staying up late at night, worrying about whether or not you're making the right decision, you guys got the nine of Michael. And
and you sit and you stay up, you, you overly focusing on what needs to be done and how I can do it. Your, your, your worrying is unnecessary. If you focus your thoughts on the outcome that you desire rather than what you don't want, think it into existence. Stop thinking about what I don't want to happen. I don't want this girl to leave me. I don't, I don't want for me to lose my house. I don't want for me to, to lose my car. I don't, I don't want to be having to go through this struggle. Stop thinking about that. Start thinking about what you really want to happen. I want this, I want this girl and I to have a very prosperous relationship. I want our relationship to be transparent and open and non-jealous and forgiving. Think about the vision of, of where you see yourself in 10 years, in three years, in a year. Those are the things that you need to think about is the outcome of what it is that you truly want to happen. You need to release all of those, those feelings of regret, the feelings of guilt, and, and all that worry that you're carrying on your chest. That, 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 that shit got your chest compressed and feeling like you just can't breathe. You got to let that go. You got to let the, speak it out, write it down on, in a letter, and set that bitch on fire. Get it off of you. Get that stuff up off of your chest. Give it to your angels because you we cannot continue to sit in regret. Had I not spent this, I wouldn't be going through this. Had I not, not, not did this, I wouldn't be going through this. Nah, it ain't none of that because you wouldn't be where you're supposed to be without the bullshit that happened. Let's talk about it. You got to release this. The, the, the biggest thing in the world is what people tell us is let go and let God, right? But how do you let go of something that's been eating you? You got to start eating it. When you, when you ready to stop being preyed upon, you're going to become, you're going to become what it's doing the praying. And I don't mean like praying like, you know, script, uh, uh, spirit. Oh Jesus. I can't talk. I don't mean praying like someone is praying good wishes for you. I meant like, no, like survival of the fittest. Instead of becoming the attack, you'll become the attacky, the attacker. Instead of thinking about, oh, you know, if I would have made a left instead of going right, I wouldn't have ran into this detour. But that detour was set there to slow you down. To open up your mindset, the way you think, to change the way you see the detour. Let go of all that and give it up. To, give it to spirit. Give it to nature. Give it to God. Whatever source you believe in, give it up and give it to source. Because if you continue to let it weigh on you, you ain't going to make no progress. You're going to be sitting there stagnant, sitting on the edge of the bed. Just like Michael. Sit on the edge of the bed staring out at the owl who, who continues to come back and give wisdom. You're going to be sitting there continuously sitting in that same place becoming stagnant. You're going to be the hangman if you continue to hold on to these things. You got right behind that, you guys. You got the, the five of Ariel. And it's telling you that you need not go through your current situation and challenges alone. You got help. And they are not, they are right there with you. You got help. Stop trying to carry all of this by yourself. Go see your therapist. Go talk to somebody. Go to, go, go to the park and talk to a complete stranger. Be okay with that. Because that, that person that you in you all of a sudden get to talking to and, and you get to releasing all of that stuff off of you, you're not even going to know. You're, you're going to feel so clear. It, it's it's going to blow your mind because you're going to take it up off of your chest. You're going to take it out of your spirit. You're going to take it out of your mind so that you can think properly and move the way you need to move. Stay focused on the goal ahead. Stay focused on that picture. Have tunnel vision. Other people's opinions and thoughts are nothing but distractions. 
then with no care and no ease. We're taught not to go get help. We're taught not to go see the doctor. But see, that's the problem. Because if you sit there and you don't go get healed and don't go get worked on and go, don't go talk to the therapist, don't go see the things that you need to see, don't manifest differently. If you don't start doing these things, you, the illness gets worse until it consumes you and takes you away. Because you wouldn't take heed to the red to the to the to the buttons that were being pressed that were telling you your fingers start tingling and and you're getting numb. You didn't take heed to the fact that there's a circulation problem. See, you sitting here and sitting in these negative thoughts. All it's doing is creating your own self fulfilled destiny. The law of attraction. You sit there and you say, no, I'll never make it. I'll, I'll, I'll never be able to own my own business and stop working for somebody else. I'll never be able to, 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 to find the type of love that I need. I'll never, ever be able to be in the type of relationship too because I'm so broken. I'm so hurt. I'm so this. When you think like that, that's what you're attracting. No, I am going to be whole. I am going to be cleansed of all this stuff. I am going to be released from this. When you start... Thinking I am instead of I'm not, I promise you doors are going to open in ways that you've never even imagined that they could. This is the five of Ariel. You've got to start thinking into your own prosperity. You've got to think yourself into existence. You got the three of Raphael. There are times and there are going to be reasons for you to celebrate here in the next up and coming weeks. There's going to be announcements that are going to be happening. People are going to be birthing children. There are going to be businesses that are going to be opening. There are going to be relationships that are going to be coming into fulfillment. There will be children that there will be to celebrate. You're going to be birthing so many different things that the, the people have no choice but to celebrate you. All the people that was battling against you and was naysaying against you, they ain't going to have no choice but to celebrate you. But it starts with you celebrating you first. I told y'all this was going to be a long one today. I, I, and, and, and I didn't mean for it to take off this way, but this is what it is. I got to do what the spirits and what these people tell me to do. I got to follow them so that I can be the best version of me. So that I can help you be the best version of you. There, 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 there's no other way about it. You guys got the solutions card, which is 14. One and four equal five. The month of May, baby. The month of May. If we take this into the month of May, the year is ours. It's ours to own. Solutions is telling you that there is success that comes from objective compromise. Self-control and patience is going to be very important for you right now. You need to embark and hold on to being able to learn to forgive. Forgive yourself. Because you had no control over the things that, that broke down, broke, that attempted to break you down. Because I'm not going to say that it broke you down. It didn't do nothing but put you, it, it, put, a, it put a little dimper in, in, in where you're going. It put a pothole in the middle of your street that you learned how to curve. You understand? And with this self-control, because with you having self-control over your thoughts and realizing that what you're really upset about is not really what the problem is. Have patience with yourself because you're growing. Every moment that you are on this earth is a growing moment because we are not taken from this world until we have achieved what it is our soul and spirit was supposed to and focus yourself on healing inside out healing your inside because somebody can cut me today and, and I'm gonna bleed but guess guess where that cut starts to heal and, and, and starts to cover up first it, it starts to heal on the inner of that wound before the outer, the outer scar goes away. The scar can't go away until I heal the inside. You guys got the Ada Ariel. It says, take great pride in your excellent work. 
you've been working on something that you've been scared to talk to people about because you was afraid of how they were going to feel about it. They were going to judge you. It's not Christian. It's not this. It's not that. You're living that way and you're doing this way. And only God can judge me. By all means, say what you want to say, but I'm, I'm, I'm the person that I am for him. And for all my spirits and other gods and goddesses that that all wrap around and come into one place, my archangels, they, they, they're all protecting. They're, they're, they're working together to protect me so that I can make it to the next place, so that you can make it to the next place. Take pride in what you do. Because practice is going to make perfect for you. Definitely consider getting yourself some additional education, some trainings in the field in which you're trying to take yourself to. You got the 10 of Raphael. Um, this is love and, and blessings that are starting to fill your life up. When you start thinking differently, you're going to start attracting harmonious relationships. You and your family members are going to start being able to work together co in, in, in different ways. The bonds that you thought were broken between you and your family members, when you start thinking differently, you're not going to be bothered by the little snot ass remarks that they make. You're not going to be bothered by the moments when you walk in the room and everybody gets quiet. Let them be quiet. Because now with your thoughts changing and your actions changing, you're, gonna, you're pushing yourself into a happily ever after. You got the ace of Gabriel. This is going to be a gift of passion. This is opportunities knocking at your door. There's going to be inspiration coming from everywhere. And everywhere you look, it's going to be something that inspires you into being and doing what you need to do. It's telling you that the chance for you to do something amazing is now. It's here. You're going to have a sense of wonder. You're going to be curious in, in, about a lot of things. And those are the things that you go take up education in. Go, go, go read some books. Go watch some YouTube videos. As these things spark your interest, find you something in your area that, that can help you get to, to that goal. That can help you try that new thing. Because that new thing that you try may very well be the thing that boosts you into, into success. Utilize this. If you see this angel is just wandering off. In no man's land. She's just wandering off in la-la land. She's happy and in bliss and just skipping away. And, and ain't nothing there to bother her or distract her. You guys got the, the, the wheel, which is the 10. This is a double up on new beginnings, okay? This is speaking of, 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 of the end of, of procrastination. This is the end of you playing around and tootsie footing with your decisions and your choices. This is going to be a change that, that, that takes you in a new direction that is going to offer nothing but happiness. These new beginnings, the wheels are turning. I keep hearing this, 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 um, freaking song. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. Like... They're going to continue to go around. But you got to make sure that you got some stuff on that, on, on, that, on that churn going around. If you look at this, this is a water wheel. This is a water wheel. Can't nothing spread out to the bottom unless it's filled at the top, right? The wheel won't move unless you're starting to fill it with something. With purpose. And so you start walking with purpose. You got divine guidance. You got five. Divine guidance is telling you that the search for in for a meaningful life. You've you've been looking for uh, your purpose. You've been looking for a a, a meaning, a, a position to let you know that you're you you are here for reason. You are your reason. You are your purpose. You're the purpose for 10 other people that are looking up at you that you don't even know that are watching you. You are purpose. 
This is divine. This is this is spirit and, and, and God and, and source telling you that if you consider just an alternate way of doing things, consider an alternate way of thinking about things, that you will start to see what your purpose is. Surround yourself with wise friends. Surround, your, surround yourself with wise teachers. Surround yourself with some people that have walked through the walk that you're trying to go through. You trying to own a business, start surrounding yourself with people that own businesses. Ask them questions. Closed mouths don't get fed. And although a, a bunch of people won't tell you, a bunch of people won't tell you how they did what they did, but guarantee you there'll be one person in the room that will. Hell, even if you're not asking questions, sit around and listen to them talk. Because they had to go through some struggles to become successful. You got to fall 96 times just to be able to stand up full. Surround yourself with the right people. You guys got the queen of Michael. She is very brilliant and very self-reliant. She's insightful. She's very humorous. She looks at things and, and laughs at it. I laugh every single time something bad happens and I'm feeling defeated. I have to laugh myself out of that defeat because this is temporary. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to pay my car insurance next week, but guess what? It's temporary. It ain't something that, that's permanent. I'm not going to be in permanent lack by no means necessary. Yeah, it's a minor setback for a major come up. And I'm going to look at it as such. And that's how we have to start attacking things. When things happen, you got to attack it. Don't let it attack you. Don't feel like you're being attacked. Nah, because that's when you feel like you're defeated. That's when you're going to lay down like this lady. You know what, laying down? You're not doing it this year. The Queen of Michael is coming to tell you that you know exactly what to do. You have the benefit of life experience. Everything that you've gone through has brought you to this very moment. You have the benefits of life experience. And this is a time for you to be focused on your career, on your game plan. Your relationships will fall into place. It's, if, you, if you stop focusing on how your relationship going to work out and just focus on, on where you're trying to be and where you're trying to go, your relationship will work itself out. Because all them same problems that, that the person is yapping about, they ain't going to have nothing to yap about because you ain't even, you, you're focusing even on them. I'm not saying neglect them or don't love them or don't be there for them. What I'm saying is, is stop focusing on what it is that they want you to do with your life. Focus on what you need to do with your life. On what you want to do with your life. Forget your parents and your friends and everybody else that has something negative to say about what it is that you want out of life. Focus on what you see. Focus on that vision that you see for yourself. You guys got the night of Gabriel. This person is very confident and enthusiastic. They're courageous. They're not afraid to take a leap of faith. They're very charismatic. So it's telling you to take action. Have great passion. And, and, and you will instinctively know what to do. You will know what to do out of instinct. Believe in yourself, baby. Believe that you're capable. You got the seven of Ariel. It says you've invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Sit back and review how far you've come. Sit back and review and look at where you made it from. Make plans towards your next venture. Make plans towards your next goal. Make detailed plans. Use the things of where you've come from to get you to where you got to go. Because you've come so far. So, so far. 
All right, Guardian Angels. I didn't even have to do no clarity on these cards today, so I'm really good about that. I feel really good about this read so far. Guardian Angels, go ahead and give us some proper messages, some final overall advice. I'm going to pull a couple of these, and then I will pull our ancient ancestors and see what y'all's ancestors got to say. Because, honey, this, this has been... This has been intense. Oh, Jesus. Spirit, speak to me. Spirit, speak to me. All right, let's talk business. Embrace those around you. You got the two of thought. You got the healer of abundance. Let me know if any of this is resonating with y'all. I know this has been a really long read today, and I normally don't take up this much of y'all's time, but I feel like this message needed to be heard. And I, I, I told Spirit I was going to take the time that was needed to give it to you. You got the three of abundance. You got be open to success. What have we been talking about this whole reading? You got the four of emotion and the ace of abundance. And last but not least, the healer of thought. All right. Y'all bear with me because I ain't got on nobody glasses and I don't know where they at. And so I'm not going to go look for them. Um, it says, embrace those around you. This is a time of great spiritual growth for you. Making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love you and share your beliefs. Be willing to accept help from others. You could find comfort in traditional solutions and your heart may long to try out new ideas. You guys received the two of thought. It says your angels have noticed that you are not moving forward. You have multiple options that you're re reviewing and you seem to be unable to choose. Ask your angels for signs as to what direction to take or just listen to your own inner voice. Deep down, you know exactly what to do. You receive the healer of abundance. It says never doubt that you can make a difference. Your creativity and ability to be innovative make you destined to succeed. It might be time to expand your career, but do not forget to leave time for family. This is work and life balance. We've been talking about that all month. This situation involves a person who is down to earth with a gift for designer decorating. He or she is open-minded and nurturing. This person could possibly even be you. You receive the three of abundance. It says your passions will lead you to divine purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talents. Learn everything there is to know about your interests by taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity to soar like the eagle. You received be open to success. It says, look at all of the wonderful things you can do when you listen to your divine guidance. You've balanced so many different priorities and have come out as a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way, but do not be shy. Allow others to shower you with the gratitude that you definitely deserve. You got the four of emotion. There are wonderful people who wish to help you. Opportunities are being offered to you, but you are not noticing or trusting the gifts heaven is bestowing upon you. Please look around you. Daydreaming or going within is a healthy way to get clarity. As long as you act upon your dreams, you've got to take action. You receive the Ace of Abundance, and this little guy brings wonderful news. A windfall of resources comes your way to help you with your plans. 
These resources may involve money, advice, or assistance in getting things done. It is a good time to start a new venture, change careers, or go into business for yourself. There may be important contracts to sign, but be very, very, very much attentive. Pay attention to the fine print. Watch the details. Make sure that these contracts that you are signing are most beneficial for you. Last but not least, you receive the healer of thought. It is time to clean up your life. Get rid of anything that clutters your space or makes you disorganized. People who take from you but do not give back should be released as well. You or another person involved in this situation is very wise, insightful, and caring. They have a wonderful sense of humor and they offer a lot of life experience. You may know directly who that person is. Cleanse these cards right quick, you guys. I'm just going to pull out a couple of cards from my ancient ancestors. And then I'm going to pull two zodiac cards and two numerology cards. And then we're going to wrap up this read. Ancestors, Mother Sky, excuse me, Father Sky, Mother Earth. We ask that you come here now. Provide us with the clarity and things that we need as this overall message resonates and rides within us. Mother Earth and Father Sky. Ancient ancestors. We ask that you come to us now. Those that we have lost that are still spiritually with us, provide us with the messages of what you have for us. So that we may be our better selves. So that we may be, understand the things that you've been trying to show us. Give us the clarity that we need to be our best versions of us today, tomorrow, and moving forward. Angels and ancestors, we ask that you come here. Be with us now. Come and place your presence. Holy Jesus. Okay. Whew. That was a little um, interesting. I just got chills all down my back. I was not ready. Oh. Literally, I have goosebumps. Y'all look at this. I don't know if y'all can see them, but I literally have goosebumps. Angels and ancestors, we welcome you here now. We welcome, welcome the messages of clarity that you provide and bestow upon me that I may reveal and release these messages. You got the air guardian. It's telling you to shift your perception. She is so beautiful too. Oh God. Shift your perception. You received your guardian angel and they are letting you know that you are not alone. You received the direction guardian, which is telling you to choose your path. You got the hermit. It is time to retreat and recharge. Go within. Focus on the things that are inside of you that are helping you achieve these dreams and goals. Reach deep within yourself so that you can figure out what it is that you really want to do. Yes, you got the protection guardian. It's telling you to drop your shield, my love. It's telling you, you got the eagle card, which is, we, what do we talk about? You soaring like an eagle, right? Your ancestors are telling you that you need to see things from a higher perspective. You also got the she-wolf, which is a, a, advising you to unleash the wild within. And you got the fire guardian. It's telling you to ignite your passions. The things that you are passionate about are the things that are going to push you where you need to be. You got the arrow card, which is surrounding yourself with protective energy. So cleanse your spirit, burn you some sage. 
You got the shield maiden, in, um, and she's telling you to make plans and to focus on those plans. I'm going to pull two more cards. You got the heart guardian. It says love and let yourself be loved. And you got the broken arrow, which is advising you to embrace the energy of peace. Anything that does not bring you peace, get rid of it. Get it out of your life. If you feel like somebody, every time y'all talk, like all y'all do is argue and like it's just negative, get them out your life. Get rid of them because they're not bringing peace to you. You need peace right now so that you can be what you need to be. This has been a very, very good read, you guys. I'm trying to clean this up so that I can have room to pull out your... um your overall energy with your astrology cards and to pull out your numerology cards and then your Psalms cards. Cause you know, I like to give you all the quotes. I know it ain't for everybody. Everybody don't believe in the Bible, but you know, for those that do, I like to leave them with a little bit of something. Oh my God. How are y'all feeling so far? I mean, I know that those of y'all that actually stuck it out, how are y'all feeling? What's on your mind? Talk to me. Talk to me. Send me some emojis. Tell me something. Whew. Jesus, I feel like a burden has been lifted up off my chest. Thank y'all. Much gratitude for y'all. All right. Hope y'all got y'all's pen and paper because it is number time. It is number time. I have literally been burning sage since like 8 o'clock this morning, y'all. I know my whole house is like, Jesus Lord. I was blowing that out because it was getting a little uh, smoky around here. All right, let's clear off these cards, clear out the space of this energy. I try to do this in between decks because I want to make sure that we're getting everything that we need so that we can have a great week. Y'all know my week officially starts tomorrow, so... I will be down and will not be on the internet probably for the next couple of days. I mean, I'll be an inbox away, but as far as reads and stuff, I probably won't be giving any reads until Tuesday. But who knows? Spirit may call me to come do something different. All right. Y'all got y'all's pen and papers ready? For some reason, I'm not seeing y'all's comments. I don't know what's going on. Ooh, my lucky number. Um, we got 22, which is intuition. Um, so you know what to do. You are very intuitive right now with um, yourself. We got individuality, which is 11, um, and which is technically half of 22. So, um, you know, follow your follow your inner being. Follow what, what your heart is talking to you about. Um because you're on the right path. You know exactly what it is that you've got to do. You've just been being stubborn and did not want to make <laughs> this decision. Um, and we're afraid to be your true self. So your individuality is going to be what boosts you into this next realm of greatness that is coming your way. Be yourself. Stop being afraid of who and what you are. If you spell shit wrong, oh well, fuck them. If you feel like you can't do this because you look like this, fuck them. Do it anyway. Do it anyway. Um, you got 13, um, one and three is four. So, um, this is definitely telling you that your efforts are going to be very important right now. The efforts that you put towards your goal is going to be very important. We got 87 life is, is sinking up. Things are starting to sink up within itself. Eight and eight makes now that's 15. Yeah. Cause eight and eight makes 16. So eight and seven makes 15, um, which one and five then makes six. 
So you've got 22, 11, 4, and 6 are the numbers that you guys need to write down. Um, pull them up in the numerology book um, or online. Google what they mean, numerology for you. Um, the numero the numero ah, the numerical meanings <laughs> and definitions. And last but not least, I am getting the astrology overall energy read for you. You got Gemini. It says this energy is communicative, mischievous, lively, witty, and and, um, and informative. Um, there's going to be stimulating changes that are going to be coming about. Uh, mental stimulation that is going to make a lot of change possible for you. You also receive the sun card. It says your immortal spirit and purpose um, and, and, and destiny is definitely involved in everything that is going on right now. So take heed. All right. Last but not least, you got the Leo. Um, and this energy is very flamboyant. Um, it's dramatic. It is proud and passionate. And it's, um, it focuses the importance on self-belief. Tell me that this is not has been what your overall energy and read has been about. Because everything that I just pulled is exactly what your read has been about. I probably could have just pulled these three cards. And that would have been the end of your read today, to be honest with you. Because um, because that's exactly what it is. is being passionate for yourself. Being proud of yourself. Being overly dramatic with, with the happiness of which you're, where you're going and where you're becoming. And believing in yourself, believing that you can do what you put your mind to, you guys. Um, I'm going to leave y'all off. I need somebody to pick a number for me, one through four, so I can see how many um, sums verses that I'm going to give you, please. Can anybody press a button for me and let me know what's going on? Because I'm not seeing nothing. I don't know why my comments have been acting up lately. Jesus, somebody save me. All right. Well, it I can't see. So I'm intuitively feeling the number four. So we're going to go with four because I'm not seeing nothing. Ah, oh, thank you. Well, I can always see yours. Thank you, Sirach. Um, So do y'all want four or two? Sirach said two. Do y'all want two or four? I'm going to let y'all choose today. This is all about y'all. Oh. Uh, so there's two. Did anybody else? Sarah, can you see anybody else's reads or comments? Because I can't see them today. So we're going to go with four. Okay, cool beans. All right. So, pens and papers. Um, you don't have to write down the quote. Just definitely write down the um, Psalms verse so that way you can go back and read it on your own time. Um, and I, I know you guys said four, but uh, Universe gave me five. So, nobody's saying nothing but me. Okay, so maybe they're just not here. But it's cool. Um, we're going to let them do their thing. So, you guys got... He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This is Psalms 91 and 1. You got, great is our Lord. He is understanding and infinite. That is Psalms 147 and 5. You got, the words of the Lord are pure. That is 12 and 6. Psalms 12 and 6. And then you got the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him. That is Psalms 103 verse 17. And then you receive last but not least, God is magnificent. He can never be praised enough. There are no boundaries to his greatness. And that is Psalms 145 and three. So I want to send much gratitude to all of you. Um, those of you who stayed throughout the entire reading today, we definitely appreciate you. A much gratitude um, to all of your time. And thank you for letting me play a part in your life journey. Please inbox me if necessary. If you have any questions or deeper questions that you kind of want me to hone in on, 
I am down. But I mean, I felt like this reading was a really good one and it was very much spoke for itself. Um, so I'm hoping that with everything that we discussed, this guy's pushes you guys right into May and uh, with a great mindset, headed into the right direction. And I thank you guys so much for being a part of my family and allowing me to be a part of yours. Again, I am Kathy Empress, so I definitely am signing out. And thank you so much. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and share. So you guys have a great day, and thanks for being the best part of my family. Have a good one.